Also, that's why I'm so jovial. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Thrifty Whiskey. I'm Josh. I'm Keith. And I'm Eric. And we're on the last day of our little mini-series. Joyce is going to tell you more about that right now and what we're drinking today. Today, we continue our series through four of the five new bottles of Benchmark with Benchmark Full Proof. Benchmark Full Proof uses Buffalo Trace's number one low rye mash bill. This bottle highlights the maximum proof that whiskey can be before entering the barrel. In Kentucky, where Buffalo Trace is located, the proof of a whiskey usually goes up due to the heat. So it has been watered back down to 125 proof. We paid $16 for our bottle, which has an average retail price of $20. As always, your prices may vary. Enjoy. Thanks, Joyce. We're going to sample this whiskey and see what we think and let you know. Ooh, caramel. Caramel popcorn. It's butter. That's what it is. It's like butter, caramel, like... Butterscotch. But, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I smelled it and was like, what is that? And you said butter popcorn. I was like, oh, it's butter. <laughs> that smells real nice. I... I don't entirely agree. You don't? I think this smells amazing. <laughs> I know, objectively, mm. that's a good nose. Yes. However, subjectively, I'm not a fan. Butter popcorn with, like, I don't know if you've ever done this, but like made popcorn and then put like little butterscotch chips in it so they like melt in the warm. Not butterscotch, but I've done that with like caramel because like caramel or butterscotch or chocolate. Just in the hot popcorn, so it like melts. Yeah. Mm. One of my favorite wintertime treats. For me, it's more caramel. I definitely see like the butter element of it. Please tell me this is available in Pennsylvania. Have you have you taken a sip? Mm-hmm. Oh, the <laughs> I find it just as <laughs> glorious as the nose. <laughs> I think the the palate's good. I don't think it's as good as two whiskeys ago. No, but that is good. Honestly, on the pilot, it might be. I'm gonna give it some time. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm this gonna, is gonna be a variety of ratings, I think. Not for me. I know where. I'm, oh man, I just got toffee. I, I'm intrigued cocoa. to see what the water takes it, but same. I'm getting like Heath Bart. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. I'm in love with this whiskey. This is a good whiskey. I don't think it's super complex. Personally, I don't think it's got like a lot of different flavors, but the flavors it has are amazing. Yes. And See, the aromas. Normally, I smell it. I'm like, oh, this is great. I'm going to really enjoy this. And then the palate disappoints me. This time I smell it. I'm like, eh, it's okay. It's acceptable. The palate's going to be, eh, it's acceptable too. But the palate just, my bar is set so low by the nose that the <laughs> palate is so good. I'm starting to get a bit of cocoa just lingering on my palate. Cocoa, a little bit of tobacco, and a little bit of leather. It's not fruity at all. No. No, no, no fruit notes whatsoever. There's a little bit of a nutty note on the palate, like a dry peanut, like a crushed peanut maybe. I'm not anymore. Again, I don't want to because this is just so amazing. I'm intrigued to see where the water takes it. I'm going to for science. Same notes, lighter. Same notes, but lighter. There's also more of a... I'm getting more of that leathery tobacco on the nose now. This is more what I would want from the nose. But I'm still getting that buttered popcorn. Yeah, I'm still getting the vanilla. Just underneath. The, the butterscotch, the caramel, yeah. They keep it the spice. <laughs> gives it spice pleasantly. Yes. Yes. It's not super sharp, but it's definitely more robust than it was on the, the first and time. And it thickens it. It's almost more like sipping a caramel syrup now, or, I mean, not, not, thick. not quite that <laughs> thick, but, I mean, in comparison to what we had before, it's a drastic change. I got a hug that time, actually. Yes. Yeah. This is a good whiskey. Yes. And the water doesn't drastically change it at all. It changes it, changes it but not drastically. It and does not- change it, and it changes the nose, which is important yes. to me. Because the nose was absolutely this whiskey's weak point for you. For me. It changes it enough that, like, this is pretty dang good. It burns on the way down with water. Mm-hmm. That's a nice burn. Yes, it is. So we want to know 
what you guys think of the nose, the palate, and the finish on a scale of zero to five. The nose, to me, is still as whiskey's weak point. However, with water, it became far more enjoyable. And objectively, I know this is a, a pretty good nose. Like, the notes were... They had that boldness to them that was missing on one of the previous whiskeys. I am going to give this a 3.5 on the nose. And that's still the weak point. Clearly, we disagree with you, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's fine. You can disagree with me. I'm giving it a 5 on the palate. This whiskey is... One of the best whiskeys I've ever tasted. I enjoyed every note, the boldness of the notes, the like completeness of the notes. They all complemented each other well. This is just a thoroughly delicious whiskey. <laughs> I'm going to give this one maybe my best uh, finish rating of all time. A 4.5. Nope, it's a 5. It's a 5 on the finish. That is the best finish I can imagine, actually middlingly long. All the notes are great. Yeah, that's the best finish I've had. Eric was wrong about the nose. It is not a 3.5. It is a 5. I thought it was fabulous. It was perfect amount of boldness, perfect amount of standout. The nose notes that were there complemented each other. I mean, there was toffee, there was caramel, there was mm -hmm. a little bit of popcorn, little bit of cocoa. They all just kind of complemented each other very well. And then the transition to the palate was just absolutely glorious. That is the only description I can come up with. Everything that I got on the nose was what I got on the palate, and it was perfect mixture. I'm going with a five there. The finish is its downfall at four and a half. A near perfect score. A near perfect score. The only thing that I wished for on the finish was that it just lingered a tad bit longer. I personally am scared to give anything a five. Um, despite the fact there being four out of the six of the, of the ratings previous five. Yeah. Josh, the fives are there so that you can give a five to something. Just I saying. Didn't, I didn't even give fives my favorite whiskey. I'm gonna, and the thing is, this isn't my favorite. This might be my favorite whiskey. This might be my new favorite whiskey. I'm not sure. However, I'm giving it a five, so I don't care. It's good. I'm Oops. giving... I'm going to give the nose a 4.5. I'm going to give the palate a five. Oh, I just got wild cherry. And I'm going to give the finish a 4.5. No descriptions? No. It just It's really good. <laughs> so, I, as you know, I'm a big fan of fruit flavors, fruit notes. There is none in this whiskey. But there is really good caramel, really good vanillas. Just... And well balanced with spices, and it's really good. No, you're right. Normally, fruit notes are the notes that would would pump up a whiskey for me. Mm -hmm. This had no fruit notes, but it's yeah, still really good. It was still really good. Also, I think this might be our first fives across the board for palates. Yeah, that's a good this case is like, in whiskey. So we're gonna move into guesses. I need you guys to guess what kind of whiskey you think it is, what you think the proof is, what you think retail is, and how much you'd be willing to pay for it. I'm gonna go Scotch. The butter notes, the popcorn notes, lend me in that direction, which totally throws the whole bourbon theme out on this mini series for me. <laughs> but I got to go with what little bit I do know about flavor profiling. Proof, it was, I'm going to go 86. Not exactly a high proof, but not extremely low either. Might go up to 90 proof. But I think I'll stick at eighty. Stick at eighty six. Pricing. I'm going to guess that I'm going to be fully surprised by this price point. I'm going to guess that it's probably a eighteen dollar bottle. But honestly, I'd pay forty. I would pay forty for this. I think this is a bourbon. I think this is a ninety proof. I do think the price point's going to surprise us. Yeah. Like, I think this could retail for 30 I'm going to agree with you on 18 I have had $50 whiskeys, $60 whiskeys that were less delicious than this. I'd be willing to pay 50 for this, no problem. Okay, so with that, people are going to hate us so much for this video. Excellent. I, I enjoyed this. So controversy is free publicity, so. <laughs> I will also add that you guys aren't going to be happy with me. Oh, good. Before we do any shoot, I always start with a starter whiskey to uh, prep our palates. 
We're going to start with that. I'm going to tell you guys what the pre- palate prep was. Palate prep was benchmark. Oh, okay. Ten dollar bourbon. That I mean, video released a couple weeks ago. I've got no problem with that. Yeah. I, here's where my problems are coming. All right. So the first one we did four weeks ago, three weeks ago, was benchmark small batch. What did you do to us? Did I just rate a bunch of benchmark whiskeys as fantastic? This, uh, real quick, actually, uh, you guys never guessed above 90. Um, this is our lowest proof at 90. Wow. Holy crap. Well, we were wrong on the proofs. <laughs> yep. Also, that's why I'm so jovial. <laughs> <laughs> Dude so, has been just feeding me alcohol. <laughs> this next bourbon you guys really liked. It was not the favorite. This one is Benchmark Single Barrel at 95 proof. So this means this is a single barrel whiskey. We love this one, technically speaking, because they're all single barrels. Single barrels are going to vary, but they do try to keep the same flair profile when they go from barrel to barrel to barrel when it comes to single barrels. So this may vary. You may not enjoy yours as much. We may not enjoy another bottle of this as much. But overall, they're going to tell short. you what barrel it came from. Um, it does not. There's no handwritten stuff on oh. us at all because this is still part of their budget line. Um, if you guys, you guys remember who makes Benchmark? Levo Sazerac, right? Specifically. Buffalo Trace. Specifically Buffalo Trace. That says it right there. I read yeah. it. Um, as with the other one, we do not have a age statement on this either. I do not believe. Uh, which means it's at least four years old because it doesn't have an age statement and it is called straight bourbon. Bottle number three, you guys did not like as much. We didn't generally didn't like it as much. This was Benchmark Bonded, which means it's a hundred proof. Bottled and bond. So it's all of the stuff in here is from the same distillation season. So it's all exactly the same age. Other people who have been doing these reviews didn't like this either. So we're not out of the ordinary for not liking this. Okay, well, that's good to hear. Um, most people didn't care for it. Everyone was expecting good things from it because it's a bottled and bond whiskey. And right. people tend to like bottled and bond whiskeys. This one's not been doing well, at least as far as uh, the, the full range. So before I jump into the last one, I do want to say that there is technically one extra bottle in this range that I did not get my hands on. That was the benchmark top floor meaning that they aged at the top floor of the warehouse. So the last one we're doing, this is the one that we all loved. Loved. This is Benchmark Full Proof. 125 proof bourbon whiskey. Wow. Sweet goodness. Strongest whiskey that we've ever had in our price range. People are calling it Stag Junior Junior. It's because it's full proof. It's from Buffalo Trace. Has all, a lot of good stuff in it. And amazing flavors. Really good flavors. I mean, clearly we rated it one of the best whiskeys we've ever had. Probably the, with those ratings, the best whiskey we've ever had. Between the three of us, yes. It probably has the highest average rating between the three of us. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Generally speaking, I believe is around $25, $26, $27. It's not all the way up to our $30 maximum. It, we both said we'd pay over that, so. Yeah. And honestly, with these kinds of reviews from us and from other whiskey reviewers, I would not be surprised if this ends up being much like Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rare, where it's hard to get. Um, like, it's not necessarily allocated, but people are going to rush in the store and try to grab it. Well, all that being said, until next time, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, This, this drink's, drink's on me. me.